Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of division with two digit divisors. This is standard 5.3c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 22 of the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a school auditorium. There are 33 seats in each row. So that lets us know we have equal groups. That's either multiplication or division. So how many rows are we going to need for 528 students if each of them needs to have a seat? So maybe that's going to go in evenly, maybe not. But it looks like if I were to draw a strip diagram here, looks like we have a total of 528. That's the number of students we have. And we're looking for rows or groups of 33. And the question is, is how many of those is it going to take, how many groups of 33 is it going to take to get up to 528? So we could skip count by 33s up to 528, but I don't really uh, have my 33s memorized past a certain point. This is going to be a division problem. We are going to divide 33 into... 528 so it's going to be regular division except as we can see here we have a two digit divisor so that's going to make things a little bit trickier so one way to do that is um, I would recommend maybe just writing out your 33s if not you're going to have to be figuring them out anyways but this is going to kind of help us we don't have to do much estimation so let's see, 1 times 33 is 33, so if I were to double that, 2 times 33, that is going to equal 66. 3 times 33, that's going to equal 99. Let's see, 4 times 33, let's see, 99 is almost 100. So 100 plus 33 would be 133, so take one away, because 199 is one less. That's going to be 132. So 5 times 33, that's going to get me 165. And 6 times 33, that's going to get me 1, let's see, 98. That might be enough. Let's stop there. If we need to extend that, we can extend that. So 33 does not go into 5, but 33 does go into 52. And as you can see, it's only going to go once. right? Because 1 times 33 is going to make 33. 2 times 33 is 66. That's bigger than 52. We're ignoring that 8 right now. So that's going to be 33. So that is going to be 4. Let's see. That's going to be 9. 198. Well, look at that. It looks like that's exactly what we need. So 33 goes into 198 six times. Six times 33 should be 198. So it's exact. It should be 16. It seems too good to be true. Let's double check that. Remember, the inverse operation of division is multiplication. So you can always multiply here. And let's do 33 times 16. That should get us back to 528. So let's see. 6 times 3 is 18. So carry the 1. 6 times 3 is 18. Add that one back in. You got 198. And there's your 198 right there. That makes sense. And then I've got a 3 and a 3 for the second row. So I've got... 8, let's see, that's going to be 2, yeah, there you go, 5, 28. So my answer is 16, but I don't have A, B, C, or D, so I could do all of this and still get it wrong if I don't know how to bubble it in. So your bubble chart is going to look something like this, right, it's going to have the decimal point right there, it's going to have two spots after the decimal, it's going to have three spots in front of the decimal. So you're going to need to make sure you get your 16 right there, left of the decimal, and bubble in the 1 and the 6. 